Well, Springfield police are investigating a pedestrian car crash that happened Sunday evening, continuing a dangerous trend in the city and all across the country. And 22 News reporter Melissa Torres spoke with residents in Springfield about the recent string of deadly crashes in the city. Well, Nick and Ciara, on Sunday evening, a woman was killed after being hit by two vehicles in Springfield. This is now the second deadly pedestrian incident in Springfield that happened in the past two weeks. Small street like this one, they're right through here like it was a highway. They don't care about who's crossing or what. According to Springfield Police spokesperson Ryan Walsh, officers were called to the 300 block on Hancock Street, where they found a woman who had been hit by two cars. One of the drivers remained at the crash, but the other car drove away without stopping. 22 News spoke with Pedro Torres, a resident of this neighborhood, about this increase in deadly crashes. Yeah. Do you see a lot of incidents? Oh, a lot of times. Motorcycle accidents, bad car accidents. Not too long ago, there was a old car accident over here with a collage on a tree or something. It destroyed. Yeah, it's always bad stuff coming through here. Just a day prior, a motorcyclist died after crashing at an intersection in the same Springfield neighborhood. The man riding the motorcycle hit a pole at a high rate of speed and died from his injuries. Too long ago, the poor kid riding a motorcycle got destroyed and, and it was a sad thing, you know, I feel sorry for the family. People need to learn how to respect the street and respect the motorcycle, you know, and learn how to ride. Torres says that he hopes the city of Springfield invests in more signage and traffic lights to encourage people to slow down, especially on some of the smaller streets where people tend to speed and drive recklessly. For the past five years, Massachusetts has averaged approximately 70 pedestrian deaths per year. A majority of those deadly crashes ha happen between 5 and 10 o'clock. So it's especially important to stay aware behind the wheel and out on the street, especially during those low hours of visibility. Working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.